Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX330 HDMI Extender Kit. This product makes it very simple to share any HDMI media content with a second location up to 100 meters or 330 feet away in full HD 1080p resolution over a single Cat5e or Cat6 cable. The product also includes a set of infrared blasters that will pick up the remote control signals at that secondary location and send those back over the same LAN connection to the primary location so you can actually control the content you're watching. The system is also expandable up to 253 remote locations by simply plugging in additional receivers to the interconnecting switch. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included, and then I'll list the specifications and features the product provides. I'll take a closer look at all of the components and explain exactly what they do. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install the product here to show you just how simple it'll be to use it with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module, a receiver module, a set of infrared blasters that also include sticky pads where you can attach those to the media devices, a set of power supplies for each of the modules, a warranty card, and a full instruction manual that lists all the information you'll need to understand in order to install this with your own equipment. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at the components and explain exactly what they do, and then I'll list the features and specifications and come back and do the demonstration. The O-Ray EX330 HDMI Extender Kit supports a wide range of media products including streaming media devices like Roku and Apple TV, DVD players, laptops, game systems, and cable receivers. The product provides full support for HD 1080p content and allows you to share your media with locations up to 100 meters away over a single Cat5e or Cat6 LAN cable. The system can be expanded through switches up to 253 total locations and also includes an infrared blaster kit that allows you to remotely control the content you're watching. Inside the kit you'll find the transmitter module, receiver module, a set of power supplies, one for each of the modules. These are 5 volt DC 1 amp power supplies. This end plugs into any standard wall outlet, the other end plugs into the back of the unit. You'll also find an infrared blaster kit that has two different components in it. This is the receiver and this is the transmitter, and it's important you match those up with the correct module. You'll also find sticky pads you can use to attach these to your media devices. A warranty card, and finally a full instruction manual that explains all the connections you'll need to make to get this working with your own equipment. Now let's take a closer look at the two modules and the infrared blaster kit. Both modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them extremely durable, and really helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the media stream you're transmitting between them. On the side of each module, you'll notice ventilation slots that are designed to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. The infrared blaster kit has two components. They look very similar, but they are different. You'll notice the one end has a 3.5mm plug on it, and that's used to connect up to the module. The other end has a different size head. There's a larger head and a smaller head. The larger head is the infrared receiver, and that connects up to the receiver module. The smaller one is the infrared transmitter, and that connects up to the transmitter module, and it's important to connect them to the correct modules so it operates properly. The transmitter module on the one end has a DC power port. That's where the power supply plugs in. You'll plug one end into the wall, the barrel connector plugs in there. That's all the power you'll need to operate the module. To the right of that is a reset button. If you need to reset the module, you can hold that for a couple of seconds. It'll start a reset routine and come back online. Here's where you'll connect up the infrared blaster. To the right of that is an HDMI input port, and that connects up to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with this remote location. You can use a short HDMI cable to connect the two. On the other side is a LAN port. That's where the cable connects between these two modules, so you can actually transmit that media to the remote location. And to the right of that is a power LED. When you first apply power to the unit, it starts a power on self-test. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED to let you know that you're ready to go. On the receiver module, you'll find the same power connection on the end. Again, you'll use the second power supply, plug that barrel connector in here, that'll power up the unit. A reset button to reset the module if needed. This is where the infrared receiver plugs in right there. This connection goes from the module to the local TV monitor that you'd like to enjoy the content on. You'll use a standard HDMI cable from here to whatever monitor you're using. On the other end, that's the LAN connection for the cable that connects these two modules together. And to the right of that, a power LED indicator letting you know you've got valid power. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the EX330 HDMI extender kit with your own equipment. 
For this demonstration, on this side of the table, I'm simulating the primary location. It's wherever you're enjoying the content today that you'd like to broadcast to the remote location. Right now, I've got a small media player that's connected to this monitor and I'm looping a video, and that's the content that I'll send to the remote location. On this side of the table, I'm simulating that secondary location. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy the content from over here, and it can be up to 100 meters away. I've got a monitor set up as my output device. I have the transmitter here and the receiver over here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter and I'll start with the media source. So let me disconnect that from the monitor. It's a standard HDMI cable and that connects up to the HDMI input port of the transmitter. Now I've got the power supply plugged in. A barrel connector goes to the DC power port and the minute I add power to the transmitter, it starts an internal self-test to make sure all the electronics are working okay. It's also checking the resolution of my media source to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture downstream. Now I'll connect up the receiver. I've got a short cable connected to the top monitor, HDMI, and that plugs into the HDMI output port in the receiver, and I've plugged the power supply in as well, and I'll add that. Now this unit starts a power on self-test. It's checking internally to make sure everything's working. It's also checking the resolution of the monitor I've connected up. So when these two start talking, it can let the transmitter know what the best possible resolution is for displaying that content. The only connection I'm missing at this point is the LAN cable between them. And it has to be a CAT5E or CAT6 cable. I've got a short CAT6 cable right here. I'll connect it up to the LAN port on the transmitter and the LAN port on the receiver. Now, the minute I make that connection, these two modules start talking and make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture across the wire, and there you go. So you're actually watching content from the primary location up to 100 meters away at the secondary location. Now, one of the really nice features about the EX330 is that you can actually have multiple receivers off the same transmitter unit. Now, you can't connect them up wire to wire, but you have to put a switch in between them. So if you have a small switch like this, you can actually connect multiple receivers up to that single transmitter by simply disconnecting it. I'll put this into port number one. And then I need another LAN cable for here. So I've got another CAT6. And I'll connect it up to the first receiver. And I'll connect that up to port number two. Now again, once I make that connection, the handshake takes place and the content will be displayed. And you'll see it pop up in a second. Now that I've got that reconnected, I can add another receiver if I choose to. I've got a second receiver right here. I've already got a cable connected up to the bottom monitor and the power supply is connected. All I have to do is connect that receiver up to the same switch in my network to port number three, for example. It'll handshake with the transmitter and you'll see that same display pop up here. So you can add a lot of these as your secondary locations and that's the beauty of the system is that one transmitter can serve a lot of different receivers downfield. So you can have a lot of monitors connected up, which gives you tremendous flexibility. I hope you found this overview of the EX330 HDMI Extender Kit helpful. It really does provide a very simple way of sharing any of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 100 meters away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT5e or CAT6 cable. And the inclusion of the infrared blaster kits make it really easy to control that content from that remote location because they'll pick up those infrared signals and send them back over the same LAN connection to the primary location to broadcast them to the media device you're watching. And you can also expand this up to 253 remote locations by simply plugging in more receivers to your switching network. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you'll be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.